Hello and welcome to Training Sim TV. We're back on TSW4 and it's a new route today. Um, the Bounstrecker Salzburg Rosenheim has released. So we're going to be taking a drive along the route. Um, the plan is to do a full run on the route. I'm trying to cram it all in, um, get it all done, have a nice run along. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the uh, the BR111. Um, so. This route has a, a total of 349 uh, services to complete. Um, there is 100 collectibles as always. Uh, there's four different ones. Looks to be there's maps, there's some fruit of some form, first aid, and I have no idea what the last one is. I think it could be a box with something in it. <laughs> it could be anything. Anyway, that's that. Comes with um, a selection of scenarios as well and some module stuff. Um, but what we're interested in on this is the BR111 uh, DB unit uh, loco, shall I say. Uh, I believe these are a 1970s uh, loco as well. Um, they're attack changing loco, so if you're familiar with stuff like TS Classic, like the Class 86 or the 87, it's the same sort of principle as that. Um, so we'll be having a good, a good run on that, and I'm, I'm hoping to get through it without any issues, but no doubt it'll probably catch me out. I've not driven it yet, so... <laughs> it's all it's all new. Um, route was on a pre-purchase. Um, it was twenty six ninety nine. Uh, obviously, to the week leading up to the release, um, back up to the usual price tag of thirty pounds twenty nine ninety nine in uh, British pennies. <laughs> um, <clears throat> not sure what the conversion rate is for everywhere else. So, as you can see, there's a lot of layering uh, in this. There's a lot of stuff that you can expect to see. Um, knocking about whilst you're driving um, but what comes with the route as a base standard is the DBBR111 electric loco in DB red livery and then the DBBR185.2 loco in DB Raelian which is this one here and then it comes with some um, Gen 4 Dosto coaches um, the Habins and the Roos T wagons it also comes with the OBB40240 EMU also, which is uh, that one. Same one that came with um, Volberg, I believe. Um, it comes with the... It actually allows use of the Mantle Barn unit as well. And then some other bits and pieces that I've, <coughs> I've seen and played with along the way. So anyway, let's go and get straight into the uh, run. Apparently there's three different ones to choose from. No idea why. <coughs> 240 of these serves are for the 111. <clears throat> uh, we want to do an end-to-end -end run, ideally, don't we? So it's going to be one of these long runs. It ought to be... I have no idea what's going to be the best day for the time. <clears throat> I'm going to go with a summer run. Uh, we'll go with July. We'll take out a dynamic because it'll be snowing by the time we get out of the first station. Um, we'll have a bit of cloud on there just to add a bit of extra depth to the uh, weather. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go with um, this one. So it's um, RE seven nine zero two seven um, Munchen. Is it? Is that how it's, I don't know how to say this. Is this Munich? Is it Munich to uh, Salzburg? <laughs> I have no idea. I'm just assuming. Yeah, so we're looking forward to this. I've had a little skim through the uh, the DTG preview uh, just to sort of see how the loco was driven and set up because I have no idea. Uh, they want to come and start this video and just make a nut of balls up of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've sort of got past the coal stage. I just still get a bit of get a bit of cough every so often. Uh, so we're starting at Rosenheim and going through to Salzburg uh, Central. HBF I believe is Central. Right. Let's get the reverse handle in and into forward. Um, what brightness is up? Now, I'm not going to put um, PZB or whatever you call it on. I'm going to put C from them. Now, I believe you have to have to activate that, however. Uh, but we can put... Um, headlights on. I think see if in the other cab. Let's go out the door. 
bit of compressor firing away there. So, uh, see through is on this panel here, so you have to come to the other cabinets there. I could have done the cheating way and just done the keyboard uh, combination, but I thought I'd come and do it properly just to show you. Since I've actually looked at the to learn it from watching that on the uh, preview stream. Now we can get the doors open. Uh, we need to unlock the brake key. Like so. And I think, other than that, everything should be set. So we've got the uh, destination bins on there. I believe you can change that maybe? I don't quite know. I think you can go through. Yeah, you can, you can go through. Look, what I was saying. You can sort of set it so we know where you're going. The wind's open. You might end up shutting there if it gets a bit noisy. Um, oh, we haven't set the headlights. Well, I don't think. We have one. Here we have. We have. Love the look of Loco, isn't it? Looks stunning. I like the Desto uh, stuff in the front window as well. It's uh, very nice. Got the cross arm, little diamond pan thing. Which the old Locos are custom to. It's a very nice looking loco at the end of the day. It's lovely seeing the older foul loco come into the game rather than all modern stuff. So, yeah, win win. Let's get in the car, get this door shut, and I believe we are good to go. Next station is Badendorf. So, let me get this right. Got some brakes are off. Now, the tap changer, you have to sort of feed it through so it's, that's on run down. Hold, and then we're going to. If you notch it, you can hear it click, and it's taking power now. So, think of your class 86s and class 87s if you're if you're a fan of the UK scene. You would put it into sort of the, the middle hand. The handle will go to the middle position, and then you would tap it up to get it into power. Um, and you just, you're just literally clicking each time, and you can see on the cab. So you can see number four, so I can uh, tap notch, so it's tap change into notch four. Click it again, it's going to five. And every time you're doing this, you're hearing it click in the in the back in, in the electrical compound area in the, in the electrical room. It's going through what I was doing. It's going through the gears of the motors, if you will. And you can see every time you tap up on this uh, here, you can see it's going up a little bit more. So if I go another tap, that needle is going up. Now, my understanding is you don't want to be overloading it in the red zone too often. You need to be very careful. Yeah, the fans kicking in. I'm going to shut that up because it's very loud, especially over doing the video. I don't want to put these everywhere. I'm not brave enough. <laughs> Been a while. I'll leave C from. We will be doing Pisa, but we'll do it on the street properly. I've got a bit more confidence about the end because I've not done anything else for that. Uh, it's 15 kilometres as the crow flies to Bad Endorf. The route map itself, um, we're going to turn left here. We're going to head up this way. There is a yard here, but it's quite a sizable yard over there. I can't see. Hiding over there, but there's all sorts of them. A lot of wagons. There's a lot of uh, car wagons and oil tankers and, and box van things over there. Cargo wagon things. I don't want to take the turn for them. But they're there. Top speed for this loco is 160 kilometres an hour, and we are on 111 039-4 for this. See what else we've got here. So we've got the usual stuff. I'll see if we keep throwing off the little blinds. Uh, on both sides. Windows and doors obviously work 
Paul, can we say let's go and talk to the lead there, Lee? No action for that. Moving around to see if we find the club, PZB and stuff over here. Traction motor fan off at the minute. On high. Near that kicks in. Convinced that I'm sort of guessing a sander, maybe some protection stuff there, brake release, lights, headlights, cab lights, this light there, main cab light. Now we can feed this through into a, a run up and put it to a percentage and it'll find its way up. To drive it a bit more manually, you can tap it with notch down every so often. Doing it this way is a bit like when you, if you, again, if you're driving a class 86 or an 87, you sort of tap it up a bit, let it find its way, and then once you're happy, then you can just rip it open because you know you're not, so, not going to really blow it. And it's not very overcharged over here. Well, not for one, it's okay. You door, uh, horn. One tone for that, no high or low. Uh, this screen over here doesn't have any functionality, I believe. Um, I think it has clickable buttons. I think it actually displays it. Just a clickable one, which is a shame, but it's never mind. Yeah, same as over here as well. It's a shame they don't have any. Very loud loco in general to be <laughs> But no, it's a nice looking route so far and along the way as well we're gonna see some notable mountains I believe uh, which apparently some work's been done to make them render in up uh, apparently they're, they're a lot that far away that they would have been out of the game's capable um, sort of renderability. Song because it's going down to 110. It's perfect time to test the braking. Not that. How it takes to release the brakes, that is the question. 
lose too much uh, speed. Tail lights appearing apparently. <laughs> that was using the correct good look for that I dialed ages ago. I'm not sure if flix train would be seen around here at this point, but nevertheless, it is nevertheless so say that it's there. No, as well, it isn't a two tone horn, it's only got one, um, it's got one horn yeah, on the roof. Two tone would have two sort of things on that top. No, actually, that's not from the first stop. Off the bad end off. Where else are we calling that? Let's see if we pronounce it. Prime. Prime Chimsi? Bernard Chimsi? Eversi? Bergen? Tronstein? Heisendorf? Real Last Sing? Salzburg? I hope, I hope I've got them right, or at least I've given it a good go. My, um, my pronunciations are never the best, we all know. But I'll always give it a good go. Stations appearing on the hood in the track diagram. One thing I will say is the grass as well, the grass is very lush. I can the cold speed that's been uh, applied in the shade or something. Seems to be a lot more foliage as well. Seems to Adopted them a bit more in the depth. Um, on previous routes, it sometimes has been very, very uh, sort of like thin, and not much of it. And it seems to have um, come out the comfort zone a little bit and put a bit more foliage down, which is really nice to see. Stuff like that just makes through it a bit more. There's uh, a little bit of stuff going into it. Sorted itself out though. This is my first time running the route though, as well. Maybe it's down to the caching. Not so sure on that, but. I know there is a thing where sometimes if you don't run the route, it like loads everything in, but it soon sort itself out, I'm not worried. You get the right stopping point for this. H is our stopping point, I presume. Mm. Not bad. Slightly over past the mark, but not a bad stop. We've got to get used to the brakes. So this is bad end off. Announcements, we've got the KS boards. And there's apparently a delay. 
Whether that's correct or not, is it just like a, a static thing that pops up every so often? I don't know. That's nice though. Show me. Oops, there's a map down there. I'm not going to run around getting collectibles on the shore, but I'll save that for the stream. So yeah, not bad at all. Right, let us uh, press on. I don't want to spend too long at all these stations because I want to try and keep it blowing as well uh, rather than making a two hour video out of it we can obviously do we get the full running and then we can do more videos and streams and all that jazz later on um so uh, going across border and shut along the rural hilly backdrop of europe in tracer wolf 4 take a trip back to the early 2010s and climb aboard the classic electric br111 tap into Deutsche Bahn regional services between germany and austria with the barnstrecker salzburg rosenheim with a history spanning over 160 years, the Rosenheim and Salzburg Railway has been a long, uh, has long been a line of vital importance between Germany and Austria. Originally envisaged as early as 1828, it took many years of theorising and designing and funding to construct. Today, the line is a key corridor for all manners of traffic and has been subject to constant improvements over the decades. A new journey awaits through the German Bavaria from the classic cab of the 1970s legend the DBBR111 accelerate out of the city of Rosenheim on regional yet international services, wind your way through the countryside and cross the border into Austria, coming to rest at the musical Salzburg along the 111. A melody of motive power accompanies the ranks including the BR185.2 and the OBB4024 for freight and S barn duty. In Tracer Wolf 4, the line is represented in, as it was in 2013, still featuring classic DB traction but sporting the new canopy construction of Salzburg HBF, which I believe again is central. Surf towns in the Bavarian hills and travel across the border of Barnstrecker, uh, Salzburg Robin, uh, Rosenheim. Uh, the key features for this route as well are as follows. Uh, which come in the form of 89 kilometres of route from Rosenheim, Germany to Salzburg, Austria, set in approximately 2013. With the rolling stock of the 111, 185.2, and then the Gen 4 Dostos, 4024 EMU, as well as the Havins and the Ruse T wagons. Highly detailed which cabs and also true to life performance and handling. Tutorials in the uh, train centre, five scenarios, authentic timetables, a journey mode, selection of route tasks to complete, explore the route in uh, free roam, delivery designer, scenario creator and all that stuff as well as creators club, and uh, route size is 6.4 gigabytes. Yeah, once you sort of get used to it tapping that, it's actually not that bad. It's quite easy. So you start injecting pieces of bean every minute, so that's where it starts getting full. So I'm not bothered with that today. I will do. As I say, it'll be uh, when we to stream it. When you hold it, obviously you can see it's held in notch 9. We are running late already. Not to be helped. We're bound to get a little bit late when we do a video.
I see some new bridges as well, by the way. Maybe they're not new, new, but fairly new. I see the foliage rattles of the track on the side as well, like the ballast. Lost to the hills, eh? Got sort of a, a good time of day for this. The sun's in the right place. It's obviously shining towards the hills. Light and going up nicely. I've got no god mode or anything on this at the minute. It's not all mess up or anything like that. That'll probably go in the next day or two. Usually quite quick to pick up on that and get it all set. Them gates come down a little bit late. I think we've gone through by the time they've uh, gone down. <clears throat> but the timing's off on them. Bien Chienzi. What I can gather is how it's pronounced. <clears throat> the stations are very nicely detailed. It's a six two eight, I think that is. Or the six four two, I can't remember which one it is. I've well overshot, but I'm still on the platform, so I'm not bothered. They'll have, they'll have a little bit of a walk getting back, man. As long as I'm going for that signal. I'm a mop bust. <laughs> <clears throat> Outside there. Very good. The heart of the uh, of the loco that. Some lovely weapon on roof. Some new characters in game as well. Got a backpack. He's definitely he's got glasses as well. Can we see any more characters? We'll have to go in a second. Is he new? Maybe with headphones? I don't know if he's new or not. Suitcase. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, we haven't got the road actually yet. It appears that whatever we're doing, we're waiting for this. Well, it's the, I think that's the mental part. You know, actually. I'm hoping that, that unit's going to come and turn off. I'm not follow. It. We're not going to follow it all the way because I don't know how I'm going to have to wait. It. We haven't got the road just yet. <laughs> what time is he actually due off? That's a good question. Thirty-seven. So apparently now. <laughs> 
He's off. He's gone. Go, go, go. Excellent. I would have thought we should have had privacy really there, but never mind. Hopefully that will be uh, turned off in a moment. Out of our way. And we can get on the, on the move. He's turning off there. He's up, we've got the road. But now Chansey is the next stop. All these lights hanging off the wires up there. We should attach the bottom of the OH Lee as well. Cool. Bit different. I'm not going to try it, but I presume if you do give it the beans going out of the station, you probably could overload it. You probably have to then back it back down. Probably have to do something to get it moving again. I'm not. Uh, I'm not going to attempt fate with all that. I don't look like an idiot trying to get it moving again. So that, that unit's gone off down that branch somewhere. No idea where it goes to. <clears throat> I didn't take note of where it where it said it was going. To be honest, we're going with an A. A lot of clouds. I wonder if I was in the sky. There's a little bit of hill popping over the top of the cloud. Don't look nice with a bit of snow on that. Obviously, we're not in the winter period, so we ain't going to get all that. Depending on what time of the year you drive and set the weather that. You get a good play with that with God knows when it comes. More bit of break up. No real glaring issues that I can see so far. Which is nice. The station. One kilometre. Now the downhill gradient, so we'll get the brakes into a controlled stop. Because we'll be there before we know it.
hoping, I mean, I don't have a clue what's coming up next, but I'm hoping that the Goblin Lion's coming up very soon. I am looking very much forward to that. Another UK route to have. You never grumble at. I'm not sure if this has been. This was the first route of the year. One of the first releases of the year, actually, to be fair. The TSW. I can't actually remember what the last thing was that came out for the game. Let's see if I can find out. Let's try and see what was last. Hmm. The festival, uh, festival of rail. West Somerset remastered was the last thing that came out, weren't it? Before that, it was um, Edinburgh Express Engineers, which actually was uh, like January. So it is, it's not the first, second release actually. It's the third release, I think, of the year. Route wise, brand new uh, route, of course. You will. This is it's nice to see this as well because the last stuff like this we had was the uh, the one ten or the one oh three I think it was or something like that. I think it might be the one oh three actually it came with Link of Rice Drinker, which was old stuff. I prefer older stuff than mod. A bit more character to it to be honest. A bit more umph rather than the modern stuff I find. Not modern stuff just computerised. But this is actually proper manual driving. Think about it a bit more. I'm not sure if the 111 um, lays into or substitutes anywhere else in the game. Um, was that what? I always find out if I was open up in the game and just do what it throws up at you. Plenty of money. 
pass it like through. It has varied differences in speed, I mean 110 to 130s, there's 140 of them which is the fastest we've been up to so far. So it's a it's a variety of uh, speeds I mean, you know, So there's freight on here as well, passengers, it's stop as well stuff. It was mixed. This time of day certainly suits for it, I think. It's a bit of a warmth to it. One thing I'll say, I do, I say this in a lot of videos, is um, <clears throat> trackside clutter. There's not a, a, a massive amount of that knocking about. Stations are well cluttered with uh, detail, but there's not masses on the track side in terms of bits of stuff chucked about. Old sleepers and cable reels and just bits and pieces like that, really, just to give you a bit of a sense of stuff that's been left there for engineers and stuff like that. And I always feel that sometimes it's a bit of an oversight route building. And I know it can be a bit more time consuming to put it down, but it makes things stand out even more. I think it's just worth that little bit extra time. You see a station like this, I always wonder if should it have actually had a fence up the back of it? I mean, technically in real life it might not. <laughs> so there's one way to find out. Is on the old uh, maps is a street view for this station where are we at we are at Ubercy station <laughs> aha found it well, I found where I'm at does it have a fence up the back of it have we uh Ah, well, we've, we've been uh, we've been at our own game here because there's no street view. That will that's that out the window then. Never mind. <laughs> can't uh, we can't run that game. Nice shot. I'm gonna try and do this in photo mode. Just. Ooh. And, uh, go there. Whether I use that uh, or not, I don't know yet. But uh, it's a nice shot.
Bergen, Oberberg. Is the next station. Seven kilometres. Should have been there a minute ago, but never mind. We'll just ignore that fact. I'm a slight bit late. Forty is what we can do at the minute, so we're gonna get this power throttle going. Rip it up a bit. <clears throat> get some progress. Twenty-five notches in the tap change on this locomotive. You can do 25 individual taps, or you can do so many, and then you can swap over to the throttle, should you wish. And we are down to 130 at the time, which is absolutely typical. to maintain. Obviously if you shut off you've got to wait for it to tap all the way down before you can start that up again. Ooh, just seeing there's some hills there. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh what can we do here? Because that that has a whole oh, no, that's right. Let's get a nice, I like it sort of like a bit of a uh, bit of foliage in there. That's that's what we're looking for. Yes, that's what we're we're having some of that. I'm going to change the colours a little bit though because I feel like it's a little bit too orange. Uh, the saturation levels. Let's just bring them down a tad. Try to expose you a bit. Just going to bring that back. Get the bit of vignette on there. That, I think, is going to be the uh, thumbnail. I like that. The rolling hills in the background, or mountains, not hills, really, are they? Services in the uh, the cab car as well, the Dosto. First drive on that end. Skipping through Matt's uh, preview video uh, a little bit earlier on, I've worked out and I found where there is the uh, the border crossing. So there's a bridge that goes over the river. So, and you, you know when you change because the OH Lee and the signal types change. It should be full. I, mean, I say it's going to be full because it's going to go wrong, but it's not. We've got, we've got a hood that tells us what we're doing. So we'll be perfectly fine. He says. I believe this, these, these little magnets are just going over. We had, I think, PZB on. These are to do with the PZB, so if you hadn't slowed down by a certain point, um, they'll basically lock your brakes up. Don't 
don't think you have to be right, exactly bang on, but more or less there. Otherwise, it's going to tell you, it's going to penalise you. Then you look stupid if you're streaming as well. It'd look extra stupid on the video if you didn't know what you were doing, also. <clears throat> That's why I played safe. It'd be too much to try and go and figure out, especially like showing stuff off and trying to drive and talk. And it's just far too much to uh, worry about. Oh, thrash. Sort of one eight. Maybe that's not cool what that is. Running a rake of empty uh, car uh, carriers. I made one five power actually. I'm, not, I, I'm guessing here, I'm just throwing out glasses. A nice mixture and variety of uh, different stock and services. Which is very good. Have we actually stopped filling the pot up? Yeah. Oh, well in. Absolutely well in. One thing as well I've noticed, and there's up to now been no issues with the hill terrain. Not seen anything missing, any any big massive like dips in it. It's all so far seems to be actually all generated, which is nice. I mean in the past there's been routes where there's been little sections that have just missed out and been like not been generated. So no, it's looking good so far. Very promising. Shaped to be quite a solid looking route, this, to be honest. I just love that Desto in the front. Pretty cool. Pretty awesome, though. Really. Open screenshots, because why the heck not? And then we'll press that. To get that one. Door shut and get on our way. Because we are, obviously, we're hemorrhaging time here. <laughs> <laughs> little moment there. <clears throat> we're out though. We're allowed to have these little moments in our first go. So this route will be live. Um, from 10 o'clock on Xbox and PlayStation as always and it'll be later in the day on PC and Epic um, so I'll keep an eye out stick in your wish list it'll obviously tell you as well if it's out or not or pre-order it actually I think when this video goes live it may still just be on the pre-order for a little bit you might just be able to catch it Sorry, it's a sort of wind through the country a bit more now. It's sort of gone a little bit more closed in and it's become, we're going, we are climbing. Look that as well because that was quite nice. Rather photogenic, this room, I must say. We're also speeding a little bit. I'm actually speeding a fair bit. Boxing brakes on it. 
significantly over speed. Bad Tom. Very bad Tom. Play now. That's a one five five. I wish we had more containers, but I know we can't get more containers and such because container companies aren't interested. That's what Matt was saying on the stream. It's a shame, really. I'm surprised they haven't gone down the sort of Trains in Classic approach where they did container companies, which were obviously sort of fictionalised but kind of based on the real one but the, the names were changed that's not matched the same one I personally to be fair I wouldn't even bother with that I, I'd be happy I would be bothered if they had that I'd be happy at least better than having just a couple of brands that's a good up affair climb it just up a little bit more power Definitely started the climb. Where are we? Over halfway. Still a little bit to do yet, though. Still got. Four stations on this run. I see like old trucks have a lot more bulge over them as well. Got more with issues to like this. This is a very industrial. I feel like a lot more budget has been put into this route. There's a lot of custom assets and there's a lot, there seems to be a lot more in it. Definitely like it's been heavily invested, which is nice to see. <clears throat> Doesn't seem to be as many generic bridges and stuff that I've seen in the past on other routes. I sort of moved away from doing that, which is good. Make sure you stand out more as well. This area. Let's have a look. Let's explore. There's obviously something going on here. A little uh, 363 there as well. A little couple that you can do nothing with. Them. There are. <laughs>
He has a. Uh, what's that coal? Is it coal? It's coal or dirt or something. Something, anyway. There's loads of bits and pieces put around here, which is nice. And the station areas themselves have always got a lot going on. I suppose that's where you're going to be spending a lot of your time is on the stations as well, not just driving trains, but you're going to be waiting for trains or getting off the train and catching a train. Ooh, 15 kilometers to the next stop, it's a fair run. Use it now because obviously we're climbing. We've got these lovely hills and the mountain in the backdrop. A little bit of pa uh, panto uh, arcing then. That's not the bridge into uh, Austria, by the way. <laughs> it's a different one. Crossing like the border crossing somewhere just before this bit in the uh, middle. It's that. Yeah, it's somewhere around there. There's a museum. I think this, there's a museum. I'm not sure what it's called, but there's a museum there. Got a roundhouse. Which apparently the train on the turntable changes through here. That looks like it's just off that branch. Little station there. I feel like I've gone to a different developer's uh, scene. I just, just feel that pose. It's even more lush. More than 25 knots, I just saw 26 then. 27. Must be 27 knots. Towards Tizendorf, isn't it? Just have we got to 130, we've got to slow it down again. It's typically real. Yeah. Restriction on the curve. Just go back up again to 130. Turn up, I'm at the turn out.
not sure where the 160 come up because I'm pretty sure I saw Matt P doing 160 at one point, so it must be near at the end. For a long, a long run, this and it's quite a long run for a video. I've not felt bored, which is good. You don't want to feel bored within a route. I feel like it's one of the routes that's got a lovely uh, mix of scenery, a bit of variety, a bit of twisty turn in there as well. A good mixture of AI. I think every every train that's gone past us a bit more has been different. It's not all been the same stuff. It's really nice as well. Sometimes it can become very bland and predictable. But with the amount of layering, it's always going to be a different experience, which is good. platform arrangement. Kilometer. Just be sight. We got seven notch. Notch seven is essentially full service. I'm just trying to be careful and not knock it into like the emergency or anything. Oh, 
red 363 there now. I think that's 363. We'll investigate. I'm not having a moment here. Would appear so. There we go. Can I go over? I think we're going over the crossover into Austria now. Friesland. Yeah. I think it's not over the bar to Salzburg, to be honest. Mm. What I have noticed in these sort of like crossover routes, you don't get very much of the other part of the country, it's got a very small segment. Telecoms is the next station. Well, that is as the crow flies, so it might not be technically as far as we have the twisted turning around. I'm seeing a little bit longer. Oh, the 160 is coming in. Excellent. Let's see what this thing can actually do. So it feels at top speed. Lovely. Again, 
more photogenic areas. That's how this thing right up and really shifted. So different around. Essentially, just coast it. Definitely not festive. Taking power now. I wonder if that trips something. I think quite get to 160. Never mind. We might get some more in a minute. Maybe this isn't the crossover into the uh, into Austria. There's a there's a bridge somewhere. I thought it was around here. That's the museum. We've got the, uh, the, the the roundhouse there. We'll go back and look at that in a minute. <clears throat> We're not overly sure what the museum's called. Four knocks about.
pretty much. Oh, it's perfect stop. Excellent. Now, whilst doors are open, the, a wide variety of bits and bobs here. Hey, oh, wind's off. And watch that leave. So, silly, silly Burke. On five five. I wouldn't have really driven that. You can't go in there, but this lags. Excuse me. Bit of a casual yawn there. I think we can go in the turntable and move it but that's cool. <laughs> nice. Some talk on the way. But yeah Matt said that the local on that turntable changes throughout the year to different stuff. That's cool. The seasonal thing. Right, right away to Salzburg, only five kilometers. Oh, well, though, a very nice route. Gets a thumbs up from me. All the detail overall, and nice scenery. Nice foliage. Great AI. And the 111 is fantastic. Pleasure to drive. We're coming up to the crossing now, the border. And the OH Lee has started to change as well. <laughs> yeah, this is the border crossing. Oh. Oops. We're open somewhere. <laughs> What's happened there? Tricks when you cross over. It's just not really pushing it. Contain the terminal there. There's a few stations. Obviously, it must be served by. Or local trains, or that one's actually that's not even open. It's, it's in a pro. Oh, at least construction site. Whopper, I like that. See, it signals a little bit different here as well. Indicators. I couldn't tell you what they mean. I just looked at the hub.
station's open. Warning like the morphers the speedball are different here as well, they've got a red like border around them. A square rather than a triangle. You can tell the feel of the route's changed as well. The station's a lot closer together as well. The style of buildings have changed. Quite cool. You can definitely, you can definitely see it. The soundproof wall with everywhere. Isn't it? Which link's weird here, look, it, it curves in. Very different. Really a little bit hot. the FPS here. Oh Christ I might. Hopefully it's just because it's the first time I've played it and it's, it's doing this. The PC is more than capable. looking station, isn't it? Wow. That's stunning. That is stunning. I like this. Whoever's built this has done a cracking job. That's beautiful. What are them? That's a... A lovely endpoint. Very nice. Really enjoyed that drive. That looks fo that looks photo realistic, I'm not gonna lie. Christ. Let's see if we can get a uh That's astonishing. That's lovely. Truly. I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. There's links and everything are in the description below. Um, find us on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash tracing underscore TV for future videos. Um, we'll be doing some more stuff with this, though, most likely as well. We'll be streaming it as well and all that jazz. So, uh, yeah, keeping out of there. Any feedback, put it in the chat. You never know, DTG might be reading these videos and might, uh, in the chats and watching these videos back. So, you never know. People might pick stuff up. It's always worth a discussion. Why not? Thank you for taking the time to watch. If you if you're still here at the end of the video, take care and see you very soon for another video. Bye for now.